Dr. Sola, yeah. good afternoon. Good afternoon, Samuel. We have a lot of people calling in, calling AWPS Renewable Energy, asking us every now and then if they can have three and a half kBA inverter. And all along you'll be saying it doesn't make any sense to you. Why? Can you tell us why it doesn't make sense? Thank you, Samuel. Um, our crew, Samuel is our social media director. And Samuel is the one that usually gets all the questions that people ask on our webpage, on our Facebook page, and periodically on our YouTube page. So I've always said someone saying 3 kVA, 3 and a half kVA is a totally meaningless statement. And I'll show you why. So I'll take you to the system I've installed here and I'll explain to you why it's a totally meaningless statement. Do that, do that. It's part of the prop. So here we have a 3 kilowatt inverter, which is equivalent to 3.4 kVA, right? So here is the inverter, which is the engine. What can I drive with this engine? So someone tells me 3 kVA, 4 panels, da 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 and they have no way of measuring how I use it. So this particular 3 kilowatt inverter, which is 3.4 kVA, no, 3.6 kVA, is running. The fridge, as you can see, the fridge is on. It's running. The freezer, as you can see, it's frozen. You see ice? You see ice? Okay. I'm going to plug in an ion to demonstrate to you that I can also ion with it. So here's an ion. It's, um, I think, 1,000, about 1,500 watts. Is it 1,500 watt ion, okay? So I have to unplug one of these devices because I don't have enough space to plug everything in. So I'm going to unplug the fridge. Then I plug in my ion, okay? And show you. So my ion is on, as you can see. Can you see the ion? The ion is plugged in. Okay? I'll turn it off. I'll take you outside and I'll also pump water. So the microwave. Okay, I'll show you the microwave also. This microwave is really crap. I can't explain why it uses as much energy as it does, but it uses a ridiculous amount of energy. So here's my microwave. You can see it's on. Now we'll go outside, we'll pump water. All on 3.5 kV, right? So let me set the camera up so they can see. As you see, it's a little cloudy too, so it's not even that sunny today. Come over here. So here is the tank, right? And I want you to look into, let me turn this off. You, a second, I have to turn the pump on. No, I'm not pumping water yet. Give me a second, I turn the pump on. And all that is on 3.6 kVA. So now someone tells me I want a 3.5 kVA inverter, right? Or 3.6 kVA inverter. And I'm able to do all this with it, right? Why am I able to do this and you cannot? Well, one, there are some design considerations I took in. One, can the inverter surge? Most inverters you purchase, the Chinese and Indian ones, the Indian ones especially, do not surge because they're designed as UPS. So they cannot handle the startup of a fridge. They definitely cannot handle the startup of a pumping machine. Two, do I have enough batteries? Telling me to get four or six batteries is a totally meaningless statement. And what is interesting is how many amp hours I have to support me being able to do this. And finally, how am I able to charge those batteries? How many watts in panels do I have that allow me to charge the batteries? On this system, we currently have two kilowatts. We realize it's not enough. The ultimate goal is to go to four kilowatts to support my 3.6 kVA inverter. So Mr. Sami, I hope I answered that question. Uh, 3.5 kVA is a totally meaningless statement. There are so many more design considerations you need, to, you need to look into when designing a system for a customer. A number, 3.5 kVA, doesn't mean anything. Did I answer your question? Of course, very well. Very well. You have actually explained how 
uh, of help it will be for person like me and Nigerians in getting a bigger size of uh, inverter like 6 kVA, 5 kVA, 10 kVA and uh, as long as we need AC to run, freezer, fridge, pumping machine. So I think the the idea thing, the best thing to do is to go a bigger. I mean, to go for a bigger capacity that can actually power most of the things we use in our homes. Well, let me let's let's revisit that. So I have 3.6 kVA. I could power one. I could power one AC with it if I wanted to. So size, which Nigerians focus on, and I'm happy you've mentioned this because this what you said is what every Nigerian says. Size is not necessarily the answer. What is, what is important is the size of the fuel tank, which is the size of my batteries. What's important is the size of my fuel pump, which is my panels. My fuel pump is what fills my fuel tank. If I have a big enough fuel tank, I can run all these things you mentioned. Me giving you a big engine, which is what the KVA is, which is what the 3 kVA, 6 kVA, 10 kVA means, and not giving you enough fuel, you're not going to get anywhere. So example I want to think about is, I have a three and a half liter Toyota, that's the size of engine, Toyota Camry, right? And you're leaving our office here in Ikeja, and you want to get to uh, Abuja. I only put 10 liters of fuel in it. How far do you think you'll get? Of course, it will not take me to Abuja. But you have a three and a half liter engine, okay? You can reach Abuja, right? But guess what the problem is? I don't have enough fuel. And then not only do I not have enough fuel, I have a very small nozzle to fill the tank that only drips point. 8.008 liter a minute. How long would it take you to fill your fuel tank? Forever. Do you understand? Yes. So those are the considerations people need to look at. So what you said is what every Nigerian believes, and I'm happy you said it. What they believe is I want something bigger. Yes. Bigger is better and bigger will solve the problem. No. The size is not as relevant as to how big your fuel tank is and how much for you how, how how quickly you could put that fuel in so the size of a fuel tank how much fuel is is in it and how quickly you could put the fuel into the fuel tank or let me say as nigeria how much petrol you can put inside your petrol tank <laughs> okay do i sound like an evil man yes i'm an evil man <laughs> so again this is dr solar coming to you from awps renewable energy in Lagos. so you can see our same 3 kv has this laptop on it this fan that fan this laptop, another laptop, and then um, this laptop, that fan, this laptop, another laptop, light of course. So, and this is all from the same system.